Hey everybody, this is just going to be a quick um, opinion video of the new net extension at the games for the 2020 season. Um, an email was sent out today saying the net is going to extend all the way down to the outfield walls, down first base and third baseline. Um, a lot of people are pro netting, a lot of people are against netting. I fall in the against category. Um, I'm just going to kind of tell you my reasons why. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying you're right. I'm just saying... For me, I understand the netting is not going to limit my view of the game from where I'm sitting. Even if I sit down where the netting wasn't before, that's not what I'm saying at all. I understand that. I understand the netting is not really noticeable. But for me, one of the most fun parts of the overall ball game experience is having the opportunity to go down and try to get player interactions prior to the game. Now, in the email, it did say this is not going to hinder that anyway. They're gonna still come over and sign things. But if the netting is designed to stop a ball, how are you going to fit a baseball through there to get autographed? You're really not going to be able to. Um, and that's the majority of what I see people have down there. You know, I was fortunate enough to meet my favorite player. My mom met her favorite player without the netting. So we were able to physically, like, they put their arm around us. We got a nice photo. That's going to be no more. And I think it's going to be throughout the whole MLB. Yeah, Progressive was one of the first ones to extend the netting all the way down but I kind of think it's going to be a trend through the other ballparks. A lot of people are coming at me saying oh I just want a souvenir and I don't care if a little kid gets hurt and that is not the case. Like I honestly don't believe kids that little should even be able to sit that close. I mean they have the kids clubhouse for a reason and then a lot of people are saying well it's not just kids it's elder people or people with slow reflexes. I understand that but my opinion is you bought the ticket they showed you a waiver, basically, or like a warning. You could be injured with a ball by attending a game. Like, you're accepting risk and responsibility for attending these games. If you choose to sit in that seat, you have to accept that. I'm accepting a fault or just, you know, I could wreck my car today, but it's because I got in my car. Like, I understand by driving a car, I increase my risk of being in a car accident. I've had a lot of people say, oh, I've been a season ticket holder for years, never seen anybody get hit with a ball or seriously injured, anything like that, which is also true. Um, I know that it's been like an influx lately, but a lot of people bring their, their young ones down there and I just don't think kids, really little, little kids belong in a ball game. Why are you bringing a three, four year old to the game? And secondly, like they should not be sitting that close. And again, this is just my personal opinion. I don't have kids, but when I do, I'm not taking them to a game until they're old enough to understand it. And I'm definitely not sitting them down low even after the netting. There's no point in me spending that money on that ticket for them to not have the same experience. They're probably going to get bored in like the fourth inning. I want to be up near the kids clubhouse where they have things to do. So um, I just think it's a negative impact. I don't think a lot of people are going to purchase those seats down there anymore because um, because of the netting. I also think it's just it just is bad overall. Like you can't get that player interaction anymore and that was like my favorite part of going to a baseball game and I know a lot of other people enjoy that too. Um, that's my main reason for not liking it. Yes, I know the netting is not going to hinder my view of the game. I am fully aware of that. I sat down um, in down third baseline when I went to go watch the Nationals play the Reds this year. Nobody was hit with a ball. The only person that was hit with a ball is someone who was trying to catch one from the left fielder throwing it into the stands and her sunglasses fell off her head and she went to grab them and the ball hit her right in the head. So again, she was standing up trying to get a ball from a player. He threw it to her and it smacked her right in the face. You have to accept responsibility for that. That's your own fault. If you sit down where there's no netting and you get hit, I don't feel like you have the right to complain about it, honestly. And everyone says, well, you would feel differently if your teeth got knocked out. You would feel differently if a ball hit you in the head and you were dead. I honestly wouldn't. I understand that if I sit there, there's a risk of me getting hit with the ball. If I would get hit with a foul ball at a tribe game and that would be the end of me, that's great. This is my passion. This is my favorite thing to do. That's my favorite place to be more power to it. At least I died doing something I loved. And a lot of you are going to think that's so ridiculous, but I don't really care. I just, I understand people's pro net views and I understand they don't want their kids to get hurt, but there's ways around that without hindering everyone else's experience.
that's my case in point. So, um, sorry if a lot of you disagree with me. Again, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. Nobody's wrong. Nobody's right. This is just what's happening. We all have to accept it. I have to accept the fact that I can no longer get that player interaction, which is my favorite part of the games. Um, and that it's probably going to be that way for all of the stadium. So that's, I've said my piece. <laughs> I appreciate everyone for watching this. I hope my views and my disappointment in them putting up the nets doesn't, you know, uh, send you away from this channel or think I'm a bad person. I just am upset and my favorite part of the game is being taken away. No, I don't ever want to see a child hurt at a game. I don't want to see anybody hurt at a game. But at the same time, if I pay money to go there and have the experience, I want to be able to have the full experience. And now that's taken away from me because a few people are upset about getting hit with the ball. So, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully come back for the next one after this rant. Probably not. But those of you who are hanging in there, really appreciate it. Really appreciate the new subscribers. If you see me at Tribe Fest in my League of Their Own getup, please be sure to come over and say hi to me. I want to talk to you. I'm going to try to do a couple interviews while I'm there. I'm unfortunately probably not going to be able to attend the afternoon session. Uh, but I might try to hang around for at least an hour at that one if I can. So thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.